Welcome to Tots Plus. I'm Jose Mata, and in this course, we will learn how to build an email application using Ruby. We're going to perform an exercise different from other courses. Usually, I tend to explore a tool or a set of practices in theory. Well, today, we're going to perform a practical exercise. We're going to put our ability to test. Specifically for this course, we're going to explore a new tool. It is part of Ruby standard library. It is the net IMAP library. This is going to be the differentiating factor of this exercise from the many different ones that are available in the entire Tuts Plus network. We will use this library to focus our attention on fetching emails and folders. I must warn you though that this is an advanced course. It requires some knowledge on Ruby and object-oriented practices. If you don't have them, then go ahead and check our beginner courses. You have a list of different links that you should revisit first, such as Ruby Fundamentals if you're really beginning into Ruby, and also design patterns applied specifically to Ruby. Check those two out first, and then feel free to jump back. Another warning is you should not use the code that we're about to write in production. It's a good thing that you find this code usable of some sort. We actually encourage you to contribute to the project if you want to. If you feel this has some potential, then go ahead and talk to us. Make sure you contribute to the code significantly and make a change in this project. But please don't use this code in production as of the end of the course. It will lack many of the features available in the email protocol, so don't rely on this just yet. All the warnings set aside, let's jump into the agenda so that you can know what we'll cover. We're going to start by bootstrapping our gem. Yes, for the many of you that have requested a course on building a gem, well, there's your catch. We're going to build one today. We're going to explore the IMAP library a little bit before jumping into real code. Next, we're going to start building feature by feature. We're going to start by listing all of the emails from your inbox. Then we're going to list all of the folders in your email account. Then we're going to actually send an email using the net SMTP library as well. And finally, we'll reply to an existing email. We'll finish the course by actually bundling every single task into a Thor application, publish the gem, and review our work. We're going to use a private service that allows us to publish a gem without resorting to Ruby gems. Since the work that we're doing is not actually worthy of a public Ruby gem of its own, we'll use a private service. Okay, now that's settled, let's get started and bootstrap our application. See you soon.